You could be required to have a vaccine passport if you want to take a cruise, maybe go to a concert. Yeah, we've been talking about this a lot. CBS 17 digital, digital reporter Judith Rattan is digging deeper into concerns over privacy and fairness, along with what role the government will play in vaccine passports. Vaccine passports are already in use in New York. It allows businesses to know if you're vaccinated or have tested negative for COVID-19. It could give people um, a sense of, uh, of safety and, and uh, ability to re-engage. Professor Nita Farahaney studies ethical and legal implications of emerging technologies. It doesn't need to be politicized. We need to look at what the risks of the introduction of these vaccine passports. One of her concerns is requiring a vaccine that is not widely accessible yet. International travelers are often required to prove a number of immunizations, but Farahaney argues those are easier to get and FDA approved. The COVID-19 vaccines are authorized for emergency use, not FDA approved. It's a question of whether or not these passports are appropriate to be used by society in, um, you know, across the board. The White House says they have no plans on setting up a federal vaccine database. Our interest is very simple from the federal government, which is Americans' privacy and rights should be protected and so, the, so that these systems are not used against people unfairly. That leaves the information in the hands of third parties. But there's a privacy concern of having non-covered entities having access to our health information. It's why vaccine passports will require careful planning if states or companies want them. And setting them up in emergency circumstances like we're in right now without that kind of thoughtful deliberation oftentimes leads to much more problems down the road. So can your employer require you to get a COVID-19 vaccine? I have that answer for you online in my story at CBS17.com. I'm digital reporter Judith Ratana, CBS 17 News.